Well, when you think of college sports, you probably think of things like football or basketball, but there's mm -hmm. a new type of sport descending upon college campuses. <laughs> it's called eSports, and the biggest muscle that you actually need is your mind. <laughs> I like that one. Mm -hmm. That's because eSports is competitive uh, competitive video gaming. <laughs> Statistics website Statistica estimates the industry was worth more than $696 million in 2017. That number is expected to climb to more than $940 million wow. this year. Well, right now, more than two dozen colleges offer varsity esports programs, and Damon College now joining the ranks. The now Buffalo's Alley Tui went to the school's esports lab to see how it all works. Their strategy and skill behind every click. Well, they're defending these towers and we're trying to take them down. When Damon College Jr. Jay Clark plays League of Legends, like Clark spends a lot of time of in front of a screen here in the eSports lab. Usually me and my friends will come and hang out here for like five, maybe six hours. He's part of the college's new eSports team. It's still in its early stages, but by next fall, the team of five students will be playing the computer game competitively. Again, Against other teams in the NCAA's East Coast Conference. I think it's uh, different than how a lot of people see video games where it's like, you know, someone sitting in their basement or whatever. We'll field another team. Dr. Greg Nayer is student affairs vice president at the college. He was instrumental in getting the team up and running. We found that a lot of institutions have competitive esports and it's really taken off across the country. Critics argue implementing a gaming club where students sometimes spend hours in front of a computer screen isn't beneficial to their college education. But Nayer says otherwise. But there's a lot of skill that goes into it. Organization, um, hand-eye coordination, problem solving, communication. Nayer says students must attend classes and maintain at least a 2.5 grade point average to stay on the team. In Clark's case, he says his grades haven't suffered from gaming, which is why his parents haven't pulled the plug so far. They see the results and they go, you know what? Uh, Though they don't understand it to a great degree, they're like, he's making it work, so they, you know, they, they kind of let me do as I do. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Allie Tui.